it's Saturday. So I hope you're staying warm. It's cold and snowy. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a little story about New Canton Plantation because it ties into Rotherwood. Like in the previous uh, video about Rotherwood Mansion and the Church on the Hill, um, the, in that video, I told you about uh, Frank Ross selling uh, Rotherwood Mansion to Mr. Phipps. When that happened, he released like 300 of his slaves. Well, those slaves went to New Canton Plantation. They helped build that plantation. They moved down there. Um, that plantation, there was a mill there, and it was called Hordes Mill. It was like a, a stagecoach place, that mill was, and there was a Patterson's Mill, and it, that was built around the 18th century. Um, the Hordes had a farm out from that mill where they would uh, hatch chickens and sell chicken meat and things like that, you know. And uh, Henry Rice was the man that built the mill in 1775. And he sold the property to William Horde in 1813. Uh, and then it became Horde's Mill. There's a confusion about that because people will be like, where's Horde's Mill? Where's Rice's Mill? But there's a sign there that states it was Rice's Mill and then it was sold to William Horde. Anyway, I wrote it all down so I could tell you. Uh, so I wouldn't forget. Um, remember me telling you in the video on the church on the hill where it was all woods and everything? Where they was getting the railroad coming through there and stuff. It's, it's like stage coaches, you know, horse and buggies and stuff. And it was growing. Well, they had to have like a, um, a, a station in the region like at Patterson's Mill and Rice's Mill. Um, and they built a store right beside that mill, which was Carter and Parker. And they supplied, like, uh, things to people going down that river that we talked about at Rotherwood. You know, bringing things in, taking things out, and all this stuff. And at that mill, they did, like, uh, grain, you know, crushed up grain and things like that. Anyway, um, the store was robbed. So, um, it was robbed by Cherokee warriors because the Indians was a big part of our area back then. Anyway, um, they petitioned the Cherokee, uh, that they wanted retrib retribution, you know, that they got with the leaders, I guess. I don't know, but they had to hand them over. Anyway, they ended up handing them property, which um, ended up being Carter's Valley. And the reason that is is because the name of that store was uh, Carter's Store. That's where the name Carter's Valley came from. All of that land was given given. <laughs> given, given, <laughs> given to uh, them for retributions for what happened at that store. Anyway, William Armstrong was the first person in Hawkins County down on this end to have a brick home. And um, King Louis Felipe in 1797 was traveling through here and stopped at that man's house. And ever since then, the Armstrongs has been way up there, you know. They still are. Anyway, I'm, I can't get out, but I will drive by and show you. There's a cave in front of the plantation where the slaves would sneak through this cave, which went all the way down to that river, to the Holston River. They would fish and hunt and stuff and come back through that tunnel because if they was caught doing that, like walking on the ground, they would take whatever they had on them away from them. They didn't get to keep it. So they built those caves all the way to the river. And a lot of the slaves built homes 
you know, that didn't stay at the plantation. They built homes beside the plantation, which became New Canton. And a lot of the descendants, like I was telling you about, about Diana Ross and them, her family ended up down there in New Canton. But anyway, it, it all ties back to Raw the Wood, and I think it's just wild. And I've decided to name the ghost Kramer. Well, my son did, so that's going to be the ghost name. He's not here today because I've not heard him knocking. So maybe he'll show up when I'm doing the drive through I don't know. Oh, nice and warm. Anyway, it all ties in where they was building the railroad and all this. Now, there was two mills. One of them was Patterson's Mill, which is beside the where you pay your water bill in Churchill. And uh, right there on the main street in Churchill. And then Hordes Mill, which is right down from the plantation. And the top part of the mill is basically gone over time. Nobody's kept it up. But you can still see the shell of it. And uh, I won't be able to stay long, but, you know, because people live in that plantation now. But I do have pictures I'm going to include in this video where you can see what it looks like inside the plantation. Also, it has uh, the steps that lead down because a lot of the uh, slaves that, like, took care of the house, like the food and stuff like that, inside for the Mr. Hoard or whatever, stayed downstairs. And uh, I reckon there was a head slave guy, and I can't remember his name, but I think it's Andrew. But anyway, his name is carved in the bricks. And it's still there in the basement. But anyway, it shows the steps going down to where the slaves stayed. They was like in the basement. And it shows their fireplace. And you can tell how they put different classes of people. And, and that was so wrong. But that's what they done back then. The top part where the master stayed was fabulous. And you go downstairs and it was bad conditions concrete floor, you know. And anyway, you have to check out the pictures. It's pretty interesting. But they, uh, it was like a staging area, like I said, for stage coaches, you know, they'd stop, and they'd go to that store, you know, get things they needed. They'd buy chickens from Mr. Hoard because he had that. Also, before I forget, uh, at the New Canton Plantation, on back through there was like where you could buy cloth and stuff, which all of that came from the silk factory up here at Rotherwood, where people would make clothing, you know, things like that. So there's a lot of history in our area, but I think it's pretty cool how Carter's Valley got its name. It was like over 20,000 acres, which is all of Carter's Valley, all the way down to Scornsville, which used to be part of North Carolina, which was released um, to us, and I can't remember the year, 1797, I think, if I remember correctly, but anyway, um, it was later, so the land was later sold to a company which leased it out to individuals, which is why there's homes over there now. And to clear a lot of the woods and stuff out between Rotherwood and Church Hill, they did a lot of burning, like sawing down woods and or trees and stuff like that, which they used to wood like to build homes and stuff, you know. But it made a lot of open ground for cultivating like gardens and stuff. So that's how all that came about. But Mr. Horde was really a good man and was really good to his uh, slaves. He wasn't mean to them or none of that. He even uh, put soldiers that was fighting in the war during that time up in homes up on the other end of Churchill, up like where the next to where the rescue squad used to be and all that up near closer up to the middle of Churchill. Uh, he would let them and their families stay in those homes. 
you know, take he would take care of their families while the husbands was off the war or whatever. And that man owned all kinds of land through Churchill. All kinds. And it all ties in together, you know, with the church and the Rosses and all that. And the uh, train track goes down through there, too, you know, which you know that. But Anyway, it's a big, long story. But I'll do the walkthrough, and, or not the walkthrough, a drive-through, and let you see it. And uh, if I remember anything else, I'll add it later. But other than that, get you something warm, and have a wonderful weekend. Love you. so you check them out okay and down here is the cave which is fell in when they started drilling for uh, the highway caused the cave to fall in it's right here the cave is right in there all those rocks fell in but it goes all the way to the river and over here let's see if I can park maybe you can see it you can see Horde's Mill see it or not for the trees but you can see the buildings left I hope there's nothing but rocks and then there's a creek that runs in front of it Let's see if I can pull up here see it down there just brick bricks is all that's left because the red wood parts decayed See the water? It's behind the water there. But that was the mill. If I could go down there, I would, but I'm afraid I'll get in trouble. Because that property's owned by them people back there now. And right there is 
the landmark that tells about it, which I'll post a picture of that in the comments. Okay? Have a wonderful day.